what we were talking about before with the visual hierarchy. So this piece of information here uh, was deemed to be the most important, the kind of primary fact. So the key statistic is highlighted here. This also draws the eye to the left-hand side of the page, and then the details are all there supporting it. Well, in fact, one of my earlier research projects in which I used mixed methods uh, and the decision to make those, uh, to use that technique was based on the kinds of information that I was looking for. In additional exercises we have a card sorting exercise. We put them into slightly smaller groups which can be really valuable to enable people to focus in on specific issues but still be sharing points of view. So we put them into smaller subgroups, give them a set of cards with a number of different options and ask them to rate them in order of preference. Hello, I'm Professor Robert Brill. I teach political science at the University of Illinois at Chicago. My specialties are statistics and research uh, methodology. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be addressing ways in which we use statistical inference in observational studies to assess possible relationships between traits of phenomena in which we are interested. My work is trying to understand how people experience the city. So I trained as an architect back in Athens, Greece a few years ago. And uh, as an architect, you, you learn to design spaces of all kinds, uh, sort of buildings, uh, urban design, urban spaces. Progressively through my studies and then my uh, postgraduate studies, I was much more interested to understand how people perceive, let's say, our designs. What's the perception? What's the, the feelings? The way we do this is by um, using various sets of methods from different um, disciplines. So we use GPS tracking, for example, to track the movement of uh, an individual as they walk through the city. Um, and we use uh, techniques from neuroscience and psychology, uh, like mobile brain imaging. We're using a technique called electroencephalography, or EEG, uh, in combination with uh, psychophysiological measurement, like looking at heart rate and uh, skin conductance, which are all indicators of the arousal and the emotional state of uh, someone. Mm -hmm. 